Today we're going to create a drop down menu using Photoshop. So we'll start off with a graphic and we'll lay down some guides and then we'll use the tool Slice from Guides. This is what the four layers look like, the four major layers. And I've grouped them according to Up Trigger, Over Trigger, Up Drop Menu, and Over Drop Menu. And so our Up Trigger will look like this. This is what you see when you load the page. And if we switch to the Over Trigger view, we'll notice there's a little glow on these trigger items. So design, sketches, and strengths will be our trigger items. Now we'll take a look at the actual menu. And so we'll look at the upstate first. And the upstate looks like this. Under designs, we'll have the words analog and digital. And then we'll take a look at the over state for the drop menu. And we'll just concentrate on the designs menu for the moment. And you notice under designs it now says analog and digital in a lighter blue color. Take a closer look there. So we're ready to save. So let's select from the file menu save for web and devices. But before you do that, make sure that you have the right layer selected. So the first time we do this we want the up trigger layer and that's we're going to save for web all slices. So make sure you select all. You can see they're all highlighted there. So when they're all highlighted, we're going to save JPEGs. And it's very important you save for HTML and images. That's the format. And this time we want all slices. This is the first time we're doing this. We want all slices. And we're going to save as up underscore trigger in the HTML file. It'll look like that. Next thing we do is we save our over trigger images. So make sure that's selected in the layers. And then we'll save for web. So make sure these are selected. And I've also selected the drop shadows as well, just in case I need them. So this is images only and the selected slices. In this case, we'll call it over underscore trigger. And notice the JPEG extension. And now we're going to save the up state for our drop menus. So you want to select all of the submenus here, analog, digital, recent archival, and top and other. And we want to select images only when we save this time. Selected slices. And we'll give the name up menu. We give the name so we can find them when we're in Dreamweaver later on when we're creating our nav bars. So the last step is we select the over drop menu. And then we're going to save for web and devices. And in this menu, we'll select analog, digital, recent, archival, top, and other. Make sure all six of those are selected. And we'll make sure we save for images only, selected slices. And we'll give the name over underscore menu dot JPEG. Again, so we can find them later on. And so when we open our folder, our Sites folder, we can see our layout here. I've got the PSD file we've been working on, Images folder, the UpTrigger HTML, and here are all the graphics, nicely labeled. And this is what we end up with 
when we open that up trigger HTML file. Have a great day. See you next time.